a very good morning one and all myself i am shridu ds s5 civil department trinity college of engineering i am here to present my project on design of recurved sea wall for shoreline protection and my project is guided by mr nitin suresh assistant professor civil department trinity college of engineering moving to my topic nowadays sea levels are rising due to global warming and climate change so we need to protect the seashore from erosion let us have a look on overview my presentation includes abstract introduction scope and objectives the reasons why i selected this topic literature review and reference abstract on the initial phase analysis of multiple types of sea walls will be done major focus will be given to recurved sea walls and their design significance Final phase involves the design and implementation of a recurved sea wall using SketchUp software. A sea wall is a form of coastal defense constructed where the sea meets the shoreline. The purpose of a sea wall is to protect areas of human habitation, conservation and leisure activities from the tides, waves or tsunamis. A sea wall works by reflecting incident wave energy back into the sea thus reducing the energy available to cause erosion There are multiple types of sea wall a few among them are step sea wall marine gabions rubble mount vertical sea wall and recurved sea wall Most step sea walls follow the same general profile with rise at a comfortable seating height and constrained by geotechnical considerations and standards for safe step dimensions gabions are low cost shoreline engineering structures consisting of individual wire cages filled with rocks and stacked on top of one another to construct shore stabilization structures mount type sea walls are used in less demanding settings where lower energy erosional processes operate Vertical sea walls are built in particularly exposed situations. In some cases, piles are placed in front of the wall to lessen wave energy slightly. Recurved sea walls are designed to enable waves ripple back to the sea. The curve also prevents the wave overtopping the wall and provides additional protection for the top of the wall. This project will be focused on recurved sea walls. The objectives of the project involves the analysis of different types of sea walls and the pros and cons and detailed study of recurved sea walls and the parameters which influence its effectiveness. Finally, using the software SketchUp, I aim to design and implement an efficient recurved sea wall. As we see here, comparing the shoreline of Kovalam from 2004 to 2015 this evident that a great extent of land has been eroded if there was an efficient sea wall protecting the shorelines this will not have happened since analysis of recurved sea walls are of prime importance in civil engineering field so these are the journals i have referred i had gone through three journals first one effectiveness of recurve walls in producing wave overtopping on sea walls and breakwaters this paper reports a study whose aim is the formulation of generic guidance for recurve structure design second one characteristics of breaking wave impact on vertical wall with recurve this study reviewed the characteristics of impact pressures due to breaking waves on a vertical sea wall with a recurve third one world war second sea wall in st aubin's bay jersey infrastructure improvements to alleviate flooding this study involved investigations into the flooding the research into the original mass concrete wall and design of a concrete capping beam with a recurve that allowed the top of the wall to be raised reference and that's all about my topic thank you and have a nice day